Ah, il y a une boussole en bas. Je l'ai pas fait, gaf. Voilà, parfait. Tac. Toxin and all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. <laughs> Le rayonateur. C'est un petit projecteur. Ok. Just a few moves left. Make them count. J'avais pas bien compris au début. Heureusement, j'évite euh, compris qu'il fallait juste faire les, les couleurs sur les couleurs. There are chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Bref, on a fait les cons, quoi. Moi, ça ne m'étonne pas. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Il y a du pampan, il y a du boom boom, on va sauvegarder. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Voilà. Ouais, c'est pas très compliqué. Ah, c'est pour. Enfin, j'avais pas le choix. Oula. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better ah, help it out. Euh, Person. Allez, pourquoi j'ai pas pu faire mon port euh... Allez Ouh, l'esquive de fou Et pourtant je lui ai mis blindé en force et je le trouve super faible. Ou alors c'est le mode difficile qui fait que ce sont des, des sacs à PV. J'ai pas vraiment envie de réaffronter après Mass Effect 3 sur certains ennemis.
Allez, mais... parfois j'ai appuyé trois, deux fois sur X, ça fait pas le... Mon port inarrêtable. Ouais, le monde parfait à la Sekiro, c'est mortel quoi. Attendez, mais d'abord je loot. Loot, loot, loot. Loot, loot, loot. Beaucoup de loot. Beaucoup de loot. On va aller voir la fouille. Je pensais que c'était lui l'ennemi en plus de base. Ah, une fille sur une chaise roulante, ça fait peur, non J'ai l'impression que c'est pas fluid sur le stream. J'espère que c'est qu'une impression. Putain, si j'avais su, je serais monté à la corde, moi. Putain. Il n'y a pas d'autre sortie, donc. Euh... Ça devrait aller. Bonjour, je fouille chez vous. J'espère que ça vous ennuie pas. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone. But the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. <sighs> he says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. <laughs> it was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Oula! Mais qui le. Oui, tête de, de loupard, mais qui les choupi? Parlez à Jolly Jones Depp. Les murs invisibles! C'est trop génial. Bon là c'est pas moche. Hop. Bon ça c'est... C'est pas de la 2D, c'est déjà ça. 
Enfin si c'est de la 2D mais pas, pas, pas une seule plan 2D quoi. Oula Oh c'est pas vrai. Ah vous êtes sérieux Ask if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Je suis Nono, le petit robot. Ami Ulysse. Ulysse. Alors, voyons un peu tout ça. Voyons un petit peu tout ça. Méchant design quoi d'une part. Ah ils sont allés dans un délire, hein. ils ont fait leur délire. GG à eux. On va sauvegarder un petit coup ou pas. <rire> ou pas. Du, 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 du. Il sait nager. Oula, 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 oula. Il sait aussi bien nager que Link dans Wind Waker. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. You will need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it will grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You will need a net to catch the Nono and he wants you to use his but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, the primal energy. Filet à papillon. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Mostly. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the root. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come, so countless, he'd say. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Ah non, c'est un coup de pied, je croyais qu'il donnait un coup de cul. 
Autant pour moi. Les musiques sont classes. 